about nanoparticle enabled strengthening of aluminum and magnesium resistant spot welding. This work was done by Anas Atiyeh and Kevin Cook. I'm the presenter, Anas Atiyeh, from the Industrial Engineering Department at the German Jordanian University in Amman, Jordan. To give you an outline, uh, I will be talking about the background, the objective of our research, the experimental procedure we have done, the results and discussion, conclusions and acknowledgements. Uh, to give you an idea about the research, um, aluminum and magnesium alloy have many applications which span from um, aerospace, um, automotive and other industries. However, joining these two uh, metallic alloys could increase potential applications. Joining two dissimilar alloys with differences in physical and uh, physical properties and mechanical characteristics uh, create a great challenge. Why we have chosen um, aluminum and magnesium? Um, the alloy we have chosen uh, for, from aluminum, it was uh, AL5754. And uh, it has some characteristics, which is include high strength to weight ratio, corrosion resistance, a low thermal conductivity, a hardness between 70 to 85 uh, Vickers hardness, and a tensile between 220 to 270 megapascal, and a melting temperature of around 600 degrees Celsius. However, for the magnesium alloy, it's the lightest, uh, it's the M MGAZ31, it's the lightest of all structural metals, it has good formability, corrosion resistance, uh, hardness uh, of 68 uh, Vickers hardness, and a tensile uh, strength of 240 megapascal, and a melting temperature of around 630 degrees Celsius. So for the process we have utilized, uh, the process uses an interlayer of nickel, and this interlayer uh, containing um, alumina, Al2O3 nanoparticles, uh, between uh, the bonding uh, metals. Uh, compared to other uh, joining and welding techniques, uh, such as TIG, MIG, or even like TLB bonding, uh, resistance spot welding uh, resulted in less intermetallic compound with a sound joint. However, uh, micro cracks are observed within the joint interface inside the weld nuggets and it forms a great challenge. A previous work on resistance spot welding showed that using metallic interlayer may enhance the joint strength for both the aluminum and magnesium dissimilar joint. This enhancement was speculated due to the prevention or even reduction of intermetallic formation at the joint interface within the bonding bodies. Different interlayer materials uh, was utilized, such as nickel, zinc, and nickel alumina, which enhanced the joint strength and reduced the hard intermetallic phase formation at the joint interface. The objective of our study is to evaluate the impact of interlayer thickness on the properties of welded joint produced by resistant spot welding the interlayer uh, was a nickel coating containing alumina, Al2, O3 nanoparticles. As you can see, this is the equipment we have used. Uh, we have uh, applying the force. Sorry. As you can see, uh, this is the experimental parameters we have uh, used. Uh, we have done five experiments. Uh, we have used a dome radius electrode tip shape. Uh, we have applied 0.8 kilonewton as a force, a welding current of 6.3 uh, K, and uh, a duty cycle spot of 3 per minute. And the interlayer thickness was varied from 1 to 25 micrometer. This is uh, this slide shows the, the different test analysis we have utilized. We have done uh, a cross-sectional characterization, which include the uh, SCM and EDS. Um, uh, we have done also 
um, some um, uh, surface characterization of the wild nuggets, uh, joint uh, porosity characterization, and uh, we have done micro hardness testing. Okay, this is this figure uh, shows the nugget size as a function of interlayer thickness. And in, the, in uh, figure uh, 1a, you can see as the interlayer thickness increased from 1 micrometer to 25 micrometer, the wild nuggets diameter in millimeter increased from almost 1 millimeter to 5 millimeters. Uh, and once we reach uh, 10 micrometer interlayer thickness, the wild nuggets diameter goes down to almost 2 millimeter. As you can see, uh, from uh, figure 1b to 1f, it shows the different uh, characteristics and features we observe inside the wild nuggets. Um, as you can see, uh, for example, in 1c, there's micro cracks start to, to appear inside the joint uh, region, inside the nuggets, when we have uh, used 5 micrometer uh, interlayer thickness. And this goes all the way to 25 micrometer. And uh, when we uh, reach um, after five uh, micrometer, like 10 micrometer, 15 or 25, we start to observe some entrapped interlayer inside the world nuggets. Uh, the impact of nano uh, particles, as you can see, uh, we have um, an EDS analysis across the world region. Uh, which shows uh, at a distance from uh, min minus 50 micron to 50 micron across the joint interface. And this is the interface line in the middle. Um, uh, as you can see, we have a variation in the composition uh, throughout the joint interface. As you can see, uh, the microstructural development observed uh, when we change uh, the uh, Interlayer thickness from 5 micrometer, 10 micrometer, and 15 micrometers. As you can see, uh, nano, alumina nanoparticles start to be uh, deposited at uh, or observed at the joint interface, and some micro cracks as well uh, can be observed uh, within the world nuggets. For micro hardness, um, we have uh, measured the micro hardness. Uh, within 1,000 micrometer at a distance from the joint interface on both sides, the aluminum uh, alloy side and the magnesium side. And we have uh, considered like the zero as the uh, interface between both alloys. And as you can see also, the micro hardness profile uh, fluctuate uh, within the joint interface. However, as you can see from this blue line at the top, um, when the um, Interlayer thickness increased to the to the maximum to the tested like the 25 micrometer. It resulted in the in the maximum micro hardness uh, measurements, which is uh, around uh, 400 uh, HV towards the magnesium side and around uh, 300 towards the aluminum side. Uh, in general, when the thickness when the micro hardness when the interlayer thickness increased the micro hardness increased. Uh, the two SEMs at the bottom shows uh, the bond interface and the way we do we did the indentation. As you can see, uh, the indentation was uh, diagonal uh, going from the substrate, from one substrate to towards the others. And uh, we measure the diagonal of the indentation um, at the joint, at the weld nuggets. Uh, strength measurements. Um, we have measured also the, the the shear strength as a function of coating thickness. As you can see, as the coat thickness increased from one micrometer to 25 micrometer, the maximum load have increased from almost 150 newton to 700 newton. Then it goes back to almost 200 uh, newton. However, we have observed. Uh, that um, the, the fracture surface uh, for the joint uh, have also varied. Uh, the one at the left hand side here, we can see the fracture surface for the aluminum magnesium without any interlayer. And on the right hand side, we can see 
the one with the interlayer, you can uh, see uh, on the right hand side the lamellar structure uh, observed at the aluminum magnesium when the nickel alumina interlayer was used, which indicated that some eutectic reaction may occur and um, uh, the effect of nanomaterial or the interlayer on the joint equality. To conclude our uh, presentation, this research work evaluates the impact of interlayer thickness on the properties of welded joint produced by resistance spot welding. The interlayer was a nickel coating containing alumina nanoparticle. The strength of the weld nuggets increased with increased with the, with the interlayer thickness to a maximum value at a 10 micrometer of uh, nickel alumina, and the maximum joint strength achieved was 690 Newton. Further increase in joint width deteriorate the joint strength. The presence of alumina nanoparticle facilitated the heterogeneous nucleation within the weld uh, beads and resulted in the formation of small grains within the weld nuggets. Thank you uh, for listening and we are open for um, any questions through our contact information uploaded to the website. Thank you. Have a good day.